Hi everyone, I just want to show you a way of setting this out that takes up less writing. Okay, so when you're doing this in an exam, the minimum amount of working out that we want to see is going to be this. First, it's really important that you write down the formula with tan. So showing that you know the angle goes here and then you have 12 over X. So you must write this. You will get a mark for writing this. Next, I strongly recommend that you write in over one and that you write down this line. Change this fraction to be upside down and then change this fraction upside down as well. Invert both the fractions. You really should write this. So I'm going to give a tick there. The place that everyone who makes mistakes falls down over is here. They might uh, forget to change one side or they uh, just forget to change either of them. Right? So really important, make sure you write this down. Now from this step onwards, you can do it in your calculator. And what you're typing in your calculator is this. You can type in one over four, sorry, one over tan 40 times by 12. Now if you type it in your calculator you should write it down. So we're going to write this down and on your calculator you can do it like this. Just type in the fraction 1 over tan 40. Now on your calculators it's going to have brackets. Use the arrow key to move across and then you go times 12. Get the answer, write it down. So three steps of working and you're done. Another way to write this bit is you can mentally think, okay, well, this is a fraction times the fraction 12 over one. So one times 12 is 12. Uh, 1040 times one is itself. So you could put this directly in your calculator in one step. And that works. So 12, divided by tan 40 will give you the answer with one step.